My name is Officer Jeff Thomason with the Oakland Police Department. I am the Public Information Officer. Well, on the 18th of April at around 4, uh, 5 o'clock uh, in the evening, uh, there was an incident that took place at the Coliseum BART uh, where there's an assault with a baseball bat, uh, which is a serious crime. Where you, anytime you have uh, a fight involving a baseball bat and there's serious injuries there, it's a serious matter. Uh, BART police uh, saw the suspect vehicle uh, taken off from the scene. Uh, they did not give chase, but they're trying to catch up to the vehicle. They actually turned down another street and they ended up in this, uh, on 72nd Avenue and Hamilton Street. As they're on a different street, uh, the suspect vehicle was on Hamilton Street and it crashed into a uh, victim's vehicle. There was a serious injury in that accident uh, and people were investigated because it was a hit and run accident so they called the Oakland Police Department to do the follow-up investigation of the traffic accident report. Uh, anytime, especially when you have a serious injury, uh, is it technically a chase? No, it's not a chase, but you do have police officers that are trying to catch up to someone that just caused violence here in the city of Oakland. And I, with any chase policy, if it was Oakland Police Department, we would be able to chase that vehicle. Uh, it just so happens the circumstances are, it was not a chase, but that still doesn't matter. We have a crash that took place at 72nd Hamilton where there's a serious injury. We have to investigate it and we're still trying to find out where, where the suspects are. A typical chase is when you have police vehicle with its lights and sirens on trying to pull over a vehicle. The vehicle is not stopping, going through red lights, going through and going throughout the city. There wasn't lights, there wasn't sirens, and they're on different streets. And they weren't directly behind that vehicle. And they're trying to catch up to the vehicle or trying to cut, cut the vehicle off, but it just never happened. Uh, we give our officers a lot of latitude. They have to, when they're in a police chase, understand what's going on around them. They have to understand the speeds. They have to understand the dangers. And if there's any danger involved where there could be someone seriously hurt or killed, we are mandated to cancel that chase. And that depends, too, on what the want is, what the infraction or the crime that was committed. Obviously, if it's just a traffic-related offense, we're not going to be chasing it. But if it is a serious, like someone just killed somebody, uh, we're going to give that officer a lot of latitude to go after that criminal and put them in jail. And that's what the public expects from the police department. And, and, and I think we need to make sure we focus on uh, the police don't force people to run from them. Uh, it's the person, the suspect they're chasing is the one that causes the accident and probably 99% of the time. And if people just pull over, if the suspects pull over and just let due course take and let the officers do their investigation and contact and uh, if there needs to be an arrest made, make their arrest, then none of this would happen. It's the people that are fleeing from the police officers that caused the accidents. Hey, I, I can't comment on what BART is doing or not doing. Uh, we're the Oakland Police Department. BART has their own uh, public information officer and they can comment on what they're doing especially with the public. All we're doing, and especially in this particular case where there's an accident that takes place, we investigate the accident. And that's what our traffic team is doing. And we're, what we're doing is trying to find the people that did the hit and run.